Okay, now we are ready to add our enemy. So let's get started. Let's go into our projects window, add a new event sheet, and let's call it our enemy event. Let's go back to our main game layout, and on our entities layer, let's lock our text layer. And on our entities layer, let's double click and add a new sprite. And let's open up our assets folder and let's grab slime idle one. Then let's add a new frame and let's open up and add slime idle two. Let's make a new animation. Let's call this ID hit and on ID hit, let's open up and add slime hit one. Let's make a new frame and let's add slime hit two. Let's go back to default and rename it to ID idle. Okay, so that is pretty much our enemy. So we can actually, let's go back and set the origin point to the bottom and let's apply it to all animations. Let's hit okay. And what we can do next is we can go, let's call it SPR enemy and let's give it some behaviors. So the behaviors we wanna give it are kind of similar to everything else we've been doing. We want to give it a line of sight behavior, a sign behavior, and this time we want to bind it to the layout. So let's do that. Let's give it our line of sight behavior. Let's give it a sign behavior. And let's give it a bound to layout behavior. Okay, so let's change up some things here. Let's change the line of sight instead of 10,000, let's put it to 100. And instead of these default sign settings, let's change it from the movement from horizontal to vertical. And let's change the period of four to one. So it only takes one second to complete the cycle and magnitude will be five. Okay. So, and the bound to layout is just going to keep us in the frame. So now our enemy is pretty much set up. Let's actually add some instance variables to it. Let's add an enemy underscore health and let's give it like 16 and let's make an enemy underscore state and let's make that a text variable and we'll call it right now in the idle state all right so let's hit save and i'll see you in the next lecture